Hi, I'm Kip from kiphakes.com and you join us at Alton Towers Resort for Scarefest 2019. It is the first day and uh, I'm quite looking forward to it. On the way up, uh, it seems that my exhaust has started to fall off. So the last few miles of the journey have been a bit noisy. And at some point, I think I need to get a man out to come and look at it. So yes, that might put an interesting slant on the day, but I'm not worrying too much about that now. We're just gonna go get our tickets, get in the park and uh, do some rides. So let's do that. Well, we're in the park now and we just bumped into Tina, Rob and Peter from Coastosaurus, which was lovely. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go and explore. So something I've noticed from the get-go is there's a lot of ancestors around, like a lot. There's always been quite a few, but this year, there's all of them. It's very nice. And uh, behind me, we've got some ride-inspired pumpkins. Let's have a look at those. Those are very cool. So they're all inspired by different rides. I have to try and work out which one's which. The Wicker Man one's quite obvious. First ride of the day will be Wicker Man because it seems to be like the rule here now. And uh, thankfully, Alter has been very, very nice and given us some platinum fast track so we can smash through some rides as well as the mazes. So that's very kind of them. So thank you. And uh, yeah, it means I can show you a bit more of what's going on without having to queue. Big Bob is smoking today. They've got the mist turned right up. Wicker Man, what can I say? It's as good as ever. And uh, we bumped into Georgia from Love Island as well. It's her first time on it. So that was a bit random. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go over to 13, I think next, because it's a brilliant ride. So let's go and do that. I like coming to Alton Towers at the best of time, but Scarefest is a very good time to come because it's just a nice atmosphere and uh, they decorate the park well. Everyone seems, you know, excited. There's a frisson. There you go, that's a, that's a posh word. Uh, before we head over to 13, we're just swinging by the dungeon to say hello to a friend. Yeah, we might go on there later. I don't know if we're gonna have time. Depends what's happening with the car. I'm sure we'll work something out. But we've done the dungeons a couple of times. I've done it a lot of times because I did some filming in there with Holovis and I'll put the link up to the video up there. Yeah, well there, I can't remember what side it is. But I'll put the link up to the video on there. But yes, there are some new scares in there for Scarefest specifically, but yeah, I don't know if we're gonna fit it all in. I'd rather do the mazes. We will see. So there's new developments coming to Cloud Cuckoo Land in 2020. What they are, no one seems to know. I don't know if that sign gives away any clues. We'll have to wait and see. Now it's time for 13. Vicky isn't a fan of Rita, so uh, I might have a slip on that on my own on the way out of the dark forest, we'll see. Depends on how long the single rider queue is, or the fast track queue, but. Yeah, it looks quite long. I think it's gonna be a busy one today. I'm very grateful we can fast track.
13 is a good ride. 13 is really good in the dark. Although when you go through the light section where the flashes go off, because it's so dark and not lit up at all, it really blinds you. But it's not dark yet, so we'll be okay. <laughs> Well, we've just done 26, 13 twice, and uh, we're heading over to our first maze, which will be the darkest depths. Just had a little boy jumping up there. So uh, let's go over there and do that. Might stop for a hot dog on the way because hot dogs. Well, we just smashed back a hot dog, and now it's time for our first maze. It's one o'clock, and darkest depths is open. So as we're in the area, we're going to do that one first. I can't film in the mazes unfortunately, so well, I'll tell you all about it when we come out, but let's go in the maze now. So Darkest Depths is in the courtyard area where um, the welcoming has been for the past few years. So that's gone and been replaced by this. It's got a nautical theme and it fits in with Mutiny Bay quite nicely, but let's see what it's like. We've just come out of Darkest Depths and that, that is incredible. That is so good. I mean, I, 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 everyone hates this word, but it was very immersive. They've done an incredible job of turning what is the courtyard at Alton Towers into the underwater and a crash ship and a battle with the Kraken. It's, it's insane how good it is. I'm not really sure it's suitable for little children because they're sort of billing it as a family maze. And I don't know about that because it's really quite mad. So yeah, I wouldn't take a sensitive child into it for sure, but it's a brilliant, brilliant maze and a really good start for us. So yeah, very, very good old towers. You've done well but there. Yeah, we're gonna catch the Sky Ride over to Project 42 and do that one now. I remember Project 42 as being a very intense maze. Hopefully they kept up the intensity and uh, we'll find out any second. Yeah, Project 42 has seen a few subtle changes. Very noisy. There does seem to be a lot more smells in the air. I think Aroma Prime have been working hard to make these places stink and they've done a good job. Yeah, I like Project 42. Very, very loud, very disorientating. Um, but as we're in Forbidden Valley, we're going to go on Galactica. Maybe Nemesis. We'll see. We've got a lot to cram in. done Galactica and now we're going to get the sky ride over to Cloud Cuckoo Land and do some of the mazes around there. While we're heading over to the towers to do Terror of the Towers, the attic, which is uh, the new maze for this year. I'm glad the Terror of the Towers name is back and uh, hopefully this new maze lives up for it and we'll find out soon hopefully. So for those of you who don't know, the attic is a maze that is inside the towers. We're in the towers, I don't know because it's new, but it's in the ruins, so it sort of adds a bit more atmosphere to the whole thing. I'm just having to look down because the ground's slightly uneven. Anyway, I better put this away and uh, go and get scared. We've just walked out of the attic, terror of the tower, I have to get it the right way around, and uh, that was intense. Like the actors were proper going for it. It's, it's an amazing, it's amazingly well done, like with the feeling of being up in an attic. Very claustrophobic. And uh, going through the fireplace seems to be quite a traumatic experience for Vicky. But uh, <laughs> we're gonna let her recover slightly and uh, do something else. We quickly went into subspecies after doing the attic and uh, they are hell-bent on splitting you up this year. They used to do it a lot last year, but now, yeah, it's just constantly wanting to pull you apart, even if you're not with 
someone you're with and you've just found someone else, they'll just rip you apart. Well, we've got one more maze to do and that is the skin snatchers, so we're going to do that. And then we need to think about what we're going to do with the car. So, uh, yeah, let's go and do skin snatchers and then uh, ponder the car. I do like this maze, but I think last year there wasn't much in the way of changes, so hopefully they've mixed it up a little bit this year, we'll see. And also I think last year when we did it, there was a few actors missing, so hopefully we'll have a much better run this time. Right, well we've just come out of the Ultraville Mine Tours and it hasn't changed much, but the actors were really good. They were, they were very intense and they're very hands-on this year, um, so yeah, it was it was really enjoyable. We did get split up as well, and it was just me and Vicky on our own, so that made it quite interesting. Now we've just got to ring the RAC and see what happens about our car. Entering into X sector now, um, we just rung the RAC and they're going to be with us in about 90 minutes and they're going to call us when they're on the way so we've just got to kill some time so we're going to do that on Oblivion. Yeah I'm not sure how much we'll do once we've uh, seen the RAC man, he might have to tow us somewhere, I don't know so we're just going to cram in our favourite rides and uh, hopefully everything will be okay. Well, we have conquered Oblivion. It's nice because the mist is working and they're operating both sides of the station, so the trains are flying down, literally. So, yeah, I'm not sure what we're gonna do now. We seem to have crammed a lot in in a short space of time, so it might just have a little bit of downtime. Well, because we can and we enjoyed it so much the first time, we're going on the darkest depths again. So uh, hopefully they won't pick on me this time. Well, we've just come off uh, darkest depths again and had a very, very good run through that. Now, while we're waiting for the RAC, we're just going on Wicker Man. We're not going on the Wicker Man because it's had a temporary delay. So uh, we're gonna go and get some wine instead because why not? Well, we've had a little drink, so that's good. And uh, now we're just waiting for the RAC to appear. So we're heading back to Tower Street to get our photo from earlier and have a look at the gift shop. You know, we might come back in the park, we might not, we'll have to wait and see. So, you know, a bit of jeopardy. Who knows, this is so exciting. It's not really, but you know, got to build up the tension, YouTube, isn't it? Getting to that time of day where uh, people are getting a bit crabby and angry, and you know, everyone's a bit tired and emotional. I'm a bit tired and emotional because I'm waiting for the ROC, and despite saying there'd be 90 minutes, it's been nearly two hours. So we're heading back to Mutiny Bay to get some food, so I'm hungry, and I'll be like the tired and grumpy children before long. We've consumed some food. And now we're heading back to Wicker Man because the ROC still haven't called back and there's only so much sitting around at Alton Towers you can do, so never mind.
Well, uh, that's a first. I didn't actually have an ending for that vlog. You see, because we were being thoroughly messed around by the RAC, um, I didn't really feel like being happy and chipper on a video because I was very annoyed. You see, after five and a half hours of placing the initial call, someone actually turned up to fix the car. And they were brilliant. They were great. But it was just... It was just terrible waiting around for them because we didn't want to venture too far away from the park entrance where the car was because, well, you know, we wanted to be there when they arrived, but they didn't arrive and we were told repeatedly, oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it's going to be in X amount of time, but it wasn't and it, it was pretty horrible. But the car is fixed now. We got home. Everything's good. And after you left us, we went on the Wicker Man, we went on 13 in the dark, that flashlight is mental. We went on Wicker Man and then we had a ride on the Runaway Mine Train as our final ride. And, you know, we had a brilliant day at Alton Towers. It was just, it was just a bit annoying that we had no idea if or when we were going to get home. Um... But it all worked out okay. But the main take home from this vlog is the RAC are absolute shit. But Alton Tower Scarefest is back stronger than ever. They've done brilliant things with the mazes. The new mazes are excellent. The old mazes are brilliant. And it's so good having the Alton ancestors. I think I was told that there was like 50 of them doing the flash mob, which is is very good and they're sort of milling around the park plus you've got the ghosts inside the towers and the skeletons dancing and they've put some uh, projection ghosts that are by the monorail on tower street as well and those look those look really good i think if alton towers need to do anything to make the scare fest absolutely top notch they need some scare zones back I experienced those a few years ago and those were a lot of fun and they really added to that the atmosphere but aside from that Scarefest is very good this year and um, I think Darker Steps stands out for me just from the actors and the music and just how immersive and themic it is it's really really good so that is it Dougie doesn't care that I'm filming no, he doesn't care. <laughs> so that is it from me. Um, we'll be back soon. We're going to Chessington at the weekend to cover their Halloween event. So that's going to be good. But for now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll be back soon for some more vlogging fun. See ya.